that is actually the main problem. So what we have identified is that uh, for the cells to undergo apoptosis is that the patients who receive these cells must uh, induce this apoptotic activity. Uh, to do this, uh, the patient must harbor uh, some levels of uh, uh, cytotoxic cells, either T or NK cells, capable of inducing MSC apoptosis. So we developed uh, an assay by which we can uh, uh, quantitate the activity of uh, these patients. And we have now identified a cutoff of uh, killing by which we can separate and uh, you know, sensitively and specifically predict uh, patients who respond or who do not respond to the cells. So this offers us the possibility to stratify and to select patients who are more likely to respond. So those who are, let's call it high killers, are the ones that respond in 90% of the cases. Those who do not kill uh, in the, uh, the opposite direction, only 10% of these will respond. So this gives us uh, a very strong uh, uh, position to better exploit the treatment. There is another uh, um, repercussion of this uh, uh, discovery, is the fact that uh, uh, we may still be able to act on patients who are low killers. And this is by uh, inducing cell death in vitro in the mesenchymal stroma cells, so we can deliver something that otherwise you would expect the patient to do. But if the patient cannot do it, we can deliver these cells which are already dying. And this will enable us to target more patients. Of course, this is to be verified in new clinical trials. But clearly, this is a new paradigm shift. You know, we always want cells which, of course, are live. Uh, and, and in particular, regenerative medicine has always been uh, based on the uh, uh, possibility of identifying progenitors or stem cells that are capable to replenish the tissue which has been injured. However, we also know that by uh, controlling inflammation and stimulating the endogenous tissue repair, we can also achieve a similar aim. So, um, I, we, we currently I think there are other uh, uh, groups trying to identify which are the signals in the dying cell that can deliver this uh, awakening uh, uh, signal to the, to the tissue. And we expect that once identified, we will probably elaborate a molecular profile uh, and therefore a signature that we can uh, leverage to target a particular pathway in the uh, parenchymal tissue that uh, to stimulate their regenerative ability.